Lab 9, the pinwheel project. I've got it set up. I'm going to go through the actual finished video, then I'll discuss the board itself. But I've got everything connected. I'm going to move to the power switch and fire it up. I'm not going to stay on it because I've had it come off before. But that is the finished project. Once this spins down, I will take over video in and go over the board. All right, you can. Thank you. All right, following onto the circuit itself. I'm gonna get my hands positioned here a bit. She had the video zoomed in. All right, circuit starts. Obviously we have power and ground here. We've got a jumper from power to input power to the switch. When the switch is pressed, this leg is live comes down to a resistor. It actually passes that resistor to the control wire to digital input two, which is an input to the board. Whenever the connection's made, it comes back to ground here. Whenever the input here is made, then you have an output to the MOSFET, which we have leg one Leg two has a jumper back to ground itself. Whenever power is seen, then it moves the switch or makes the switch active off the middle leg, which travels up here to what is actually the ground of the motor with the diode coming up to power. The motor itself is connected here. Power is here. Obviously, I've got a jumper to bring ground across the ravine. The battery connections here uh, are similar to what we did with the capacitor. You just need more current than what the Arduino is capable of delivering. So we've got this as a giant storage on the backside once the circuit is made. And that is the complete project of Arduino Lab 9, the color wheel.